Dennis, Pat. Merci encore. Prévention, prévention, prévention. Ça, c'est euh, euh, la réponse euh, pour euh, healthcare. Um, we, uh, we don't do nearly enough. We, we, we make a, an enormous investment in acute care. Um, and much of acute care is the result of the, ne the neglect of the prevention activities that we should be engaged in. So we've got, we've got wonderful, progressive, um, highly skilled acute care institutions in our community. We should be doing more to educate young people about what they should be doing to look after themselves. We've got way too much sugar in our diets. We've got way too much salt in our diets. Um, and we're realizing now uh, that the, the sugar is way more important than the fat content of the food that we eat. Um, I'm not recommending that we increase our fat intake, but sugar is being converted to fat by our bodies and it's, it's an enormous drain on our health care. Um, so I'm just kidding about that being the three. The second thing uh, on my list of three that I want to give you is we need to continue to support those acute care institutions because obviously we need them. And they're just at the beginning of the crisis that they're going to face. Uh, the baby boomers are just turning 65 now. Um, the, the population of the elderly is going to double in the next few years. And we need most of our health care in the last two years of our lives, unfortunately. That's when we spend our quota of the uh, health care money that, uh, that comes to us in our lifetime. Um, and so we're, uh, we're approaching crisis point. The expenditures are going to have to be huge. And so my third point is that we must find administrative efficiencies. Uh, there's a tremendous, uh, I, I don't know about, enough about this to be frank, to be able to identify the specific areas, uh, but I see a tremendous organizational structure that's behind our acute care facilities. Uh, we only spend 2% of our health care budget on, on uh, public health, but the advances that we've made, the ability that we've got to live long and satisfying lives, came largely from our public health initiatives, things like chlorinating water that we take for granted now. Those were the things that, that uh, uh, eliminated a tremendous amount of disease, and we now need to work on um, finding the efficiency so that we can support public health more fully in the future. Thank you.